welcome to uh, So Hum Meditation. So Hum is a mantra used in yoga and Ayurveda. Um, and it means I am. And it's the focus of, of inquiry of um, who I am, who you are, who you really are, not who you think you are. Right? It's about getting down deeper, peeling off the layers um, of the onion and connecting to that um, pure consciousness. And so um, we repeat the mantra, so hum, so hum. And um, so we'll do that in a moment. And uh, before we meditate, I want to talk about... Um, there were some questions around meditation and uh, Helen, who's in the group, mentioned that when she sits to meditate, her mind goes nuts. And that is true of every single human being, okay? Maybe not those who have meditated their whole lives, sure, people who have practiced, but I would, I would even say that they also have minds that go nuts. Okay, because our brains are designed to assess threats and opportunities. That's what it's designed to do. So it's always judging, assessing, um, you, you know, thinking. Uh, it's always making judgment. Um, and the mind is super volatile. Like one minute we're stoked, the next minute we're depressed. One minute we're frustrated, the next minute we're joyful. Right, and it can feel like a roller coaster, which is what meditation can help us with. It helps us slow. It helps us uh, create space between the thoughts, right? Um, and it helps us within those that space. We can then start to connect with that pure consciousness, with who we really are, behind the thoughts, beyond the thoughts. Okay, so the idea with meditation is not to be thought free. Okay, that, that needs to be really clear. The, the, the goal of meditation is not to have a mind that has no thoughts in it. That's impossible, right? One of the goals of meditation or the goal of meditation is to go beyond the thoughts, create space between the thoughts and connect to who we really are and ultimately to that pure consciousness. All right, so it's really important that in the, to, to realize that in the beginning meditation can feel uh, difficult, really challenging, right? Because we have to sit with ourselves, with our minds and our thoughts and our thoughts, our programs that have been programmed into us our whole lives. They're not even the truth, right? I'll say that again. Our thoughts are not even the truth of reality. They're programs, right, of, that have been programmed uh, into us via our experiences, via adults in our lives, um, other people, and our own response or reaction to situations that we've lived through. And understanding this is really key, and that's also something that meditation helps with, is as we create space between the thoughts, right, we start to uh, recognize that we are not our thoughts, that our thoughts are not the truth. And there's a lot of freedom in that. And so the freedom comes not from having no thoughts, the freedom comes from not reacting immediately to our thoughts, not immediately believing in our thoughts, not immediately thinking or, or believing that we are our thoughts. That's where the freedom is, okay? So as we sit, the mantra can really help us create the, um, the space between our thoughts, yeah? And so repeating the mantra, so what we do is we repeat the mantra, so hum, so hum, and we do it on an inhale, so, and on an exhale, hum. On an inhale, so, and on the exhale, hum. Okay, and we continue with that. And then at some point, 
we will notice that our minds will have drifted off into thought, judgment, strategy, and all that. When that happens, right, don't start beating yourself up. You simply say thinking, oh, there I was thinking again, and you come back to the mantra. And then the next time that you notice that you're in a swirl of thoughts, same thing. Oh, there I am thinking again, come back to the mantra. That is the work of meditation, right? That is, is the work. And the work is to keep doing the work and to keep practicing. So let's do a practice together.